Hey guys, it's Luke here at Gramophone. Today we're going to be taking a look at a product by James Loudspeaker. This is the very unique and extremely performant SA63 small aperture in wall and in ceiling loudspeaker. And these things are a treat, like a true hi-fi system in your ceiling and you can't even see it. So I'm going to break down for you guys why the James Loudspeaker products stand out in virtually every class they're in, but especially why the Small Aperture Series Loudspeaker is just such a rock star and a product that really, really changes the game as far as distributed audio goes. But before we get into all those details, make sure you guys subscribe to the Gramophone YouTube channel, click that bell notification icon in the corner, because we've got a lot of great content coming out and I don't want you guys to miss any of it. Now then, the James SA63 Small Aperture Loudspeaker and why this is like almost having a hi-fi system built into your ceiling and you can barely even see it. Yes, no hyperbole, it is actually that good. Alright guys, so let's talk about the features of the Small Aperture Loudspeaker. Believe it or not, these are three-way speakers featuring a six and a half inch power pipe subwoofer built right into this chassis, a two and a half inch mid-range, and a one inch dome tweeter, as you can see, mounted right there. These speakers are in a word, insane. To be able to pack a true three-way design in a cabinet like this, and then hide all of that behind a ceiling coming out of nothing, but this little aperture, hence small aperture, is nuts. It sounds almost like a tower speaker in your ceiling. To give you guys an idea, these are rated down to a realistic 38 hertz. That is bonkers and unheard of for an in-ceiling product, and it's something you would expect to hear coming out of a tower, not a ceiling speaker, and especially not one that comes out of an aperture barely three inches wide. On top of the excellent bass performance of the hidden six and a half inch woofer, the concentrically mounted two inch and one inch mid-range and dome tweeter respectfully provide wonderful off-axis performance. So whether you're standing directly underneath the speakers or maybe off to the side in the room, the sound field that this speaker produces is vast and expansive and sounds great all across the room. And believe me, I've been in rooms where these have been installed and I've tested them to the nth degree and they just never disappoint. In fact, almost every time is an amazing experience because you just never quite get over the fact of what you're hearing seeing it come out of an aperture so small. It, it's one of those cognitive dissonance things that actually works in your favor. You can't believe it, but it's true and it's actually good. And these are not particularly difficult to drive. They will recommend a power output of anywhere from 25 to 125 watts. Now these are a 4 ohm speaker, so the only caveat about that is that you will need an amplifier stable down into 4 ohm loads, but many of the popular streaming and distribution amps available today will do just that, just fine. If I may throw a recommendation into the mix, check out our video on the Sonos amplifier. Those plus these talk about a winning distributed audio combo that sounds amazing and is easy to use. If you're looking at a system like this, or if you're looking to have these installed throughout your home, we here at Gramophone would be happy to help you come up with a design that integrates them in a very, very stylish manner while providing excellent distribution throughout your rooms with the appropriate electronics and other accessories necessary. Okay guys, quick note about compatibility. These are meant to be a permanently installed speaker, and because of the nature of the design, being a box that's meant to be built around, for example, going in before drywall has gone up on the ceiling, that is something you're gonna wanna think about. They can be retrofitted, but it will require cutting obviously a hole of at least the size to get it into the ceiling structure. When you go to install these, these do require a mounting depth of at least seven inches. However, most modern homes will be able to accommodate that just fine. On top of that, as I mentioned before, they are also four ohms. They connect via spring-loaded binding post on the back of the unit. It's gonna most easily accept bare wire, which is generally what you're going to use in a custom installed situation anyway. And they require a power of about 25 to 125 watts to sound their best, which most distributed audio amps nowadays provide anyway, so you're good on that front. They're very easy to integrate, 
And even if you do have to cut to retrofit them in, it's not that bad, especially if you have some pros doing your finishing work, like we can provide you here at Gramophone. All right, guys, now let's talk about the design of the product and we'll cover the dimensions. Now, keep in mind, these are the dimensions you want to know for the installation, but everything ultimately comes out of the ceiling through a three inch hole. So a little bit different, but here we go. These are 9.75 inches in width, 6.375 inches in depth, and they stand 13.62 inches in height. And the grill is either a three inch round or a three by three square. And finally, let's talk about the build of this product. This entire product is made out of dense, thick, really, really solid, really, really heavy for the size that it is. But remember, this is an audio product. That's a good thing. Aircraft grade aluminum. And the machining work on this product is impeccable. It is solid as a rock. The cabinet is almost completely inert because it is thick, dense sheets of aluminum. Each of the joints here are professionally welded and it's really clean. And even the edges for a product that's ultimately meant to be tucked away and installed are surprisingly clean cut. James Loudspeaker seems to be just as much a machinist company as they are an audio company. The front grille configuration on the small aperture also accepts industry standard mounting hardware and can even be dressed in high-end lighting trim kits to make this virtually disappear and look almost like an installed ceiling light. They can disappear that completely. You guys can also check out some other examples of how these integrate on the James Loudspeaker webpage. Some of the grill options look just awesome. Think like custom cut wood vents that you can barely see to begin with that perfectly integrate with a hardwood ceiling. There's a lot of companies out there that do custom work and their work is very good, don't get me wrong, but they just don't have the sound. And that's where James stands out. They're the ones who do. For just under $3,500 each, the James SA63 small aperture in-ceiling speaker is basically the pinnacle of in-ceiling speaker performance. I am not even beginning to remotely joke with you when I say that these sound like having a hi-fi system built into your ceiling, with the icing on the cake being that you almost can't even see them once they're properly configured for your ceiling. And if you are someone who is looking for the absolute best, both in sound and material quality, as well as fit, finish, and of course, the aesthetic of the final install, I really don't believe it gets any better than James Loudspeaker products. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are other small aperture products in this same category designed for slightly different applications that can be made to work anywhere, including even a model with a slightly larger aperture that still by all means considered is very small, but has output like you just won't believe. So head on over to gramophone.com to learn more about James Loudspeaker and to learn more about what they can offer in custom solutions for your home. If you're interested in a product of this caliber, we'd be happy to design a system for your home and show you all of the best design choices that you can make to have an install that looks amazing. And of course, as we've been talking about for this whole video, sounds as amazing as I've been telling you. Finally, please give us a call and stop by one of our showroom locations. You'll find us in Columbia, Timonium, and Gaithersburg, Maryland. And while you're out, be sure to stop by our lovely Kitchen Design Center in Hunt Valley for more great design-related ideas and products. You'll find us on social media too. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Hows, Twitter, and even a few others. The links will all be down below. If you guys need help coming up with project ideas, need to schedule a service request, or want to speak to one of our hi-fi home theater and interior design experts, get inspired at gramophone.com. Also, don't forget, ask at gramophone.com if you have any questions for me about anything that's been covered here on the channel and you'd like to know a little bit more. Okay, guys, you know the drill. Please give us a thumbs up and like the video if you enjoyed your time here. Drop a comment down below. Tell me what you're thinking and subscribe to the Gramophone channel for all of your audio and home theater needs. And of course, tell me what you guys think about the James Loud Series speakers of product. Prior to this, have you guys heard of James? And if so, which products are some of your favorite? I'm also going to ask you guys to have a look at the James webpage and tell me if there's anything else you see on there that you really want me to do a video highlight of. And on that note, Please let me know anything else you'd like to see a video about as we are here to serve you guys and bring you the products that you desire. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. It is a pleasure doing this for you, especially when I get to talk about products like this. Be seeing you.